what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it because today we will discuss one love story <laughs> no 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 it is a partial love story it's just a instance from a love story it is not a full love story because there are already so many love stories i don't need to discuss another love story here all right and if you like this video then click the thumbs up at the end before i begin as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him in every love story also so what happened was one day there was a boy this is long 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 back this is not in kali yuga this is somewhere in satya yuga dwapar yuga treta yuga what happened this boy he was in love with a girl and then he wanted to go on a date with her but those days it was very difficult to go on a date how come you explain to people that i'm going on a date with a girl yes so it's very difficult so what this boy did was he went and told this girl that my dear beloved maybe we can visit the temple and we can go on a date there because nobody is going to doubt there uh, behind the vicinity of the temple we will meet so then this girl agreed and then they decided okay uh, this day this time we will go on a date so i will come there and you also come there the boy told to his girlfriend and then as the day arrived the boy reached on time and he had a beautiful red rose for gifting it to his girlfriend and that temple where he went was the temple of lord vishnu narayan lord hari and then what happened he was waiting waiting checking his watch <laughs> and then he saw that his girlfriend didn't come she became late and in that he started going around the temple he started seeing okay which deity is this and then he saw it was four handed form of lord vishnu and then suddenly out of nowhere <coughs> yamraj the god of death appeared to him and he said your time has now come you will have to come with me you will die now and then this boy said my god death has come i was waiting for this girlfriend but she also didn't come and then i have this red rose with me what to do so he thought okay i wanted to offer this to my girlfriend but i couldn't so let me offer it to god only <laughs> so he went to the puja he he said to yamraj mr yamraj one minute i am coming with you just one minute and then he went inside the temple and he told the priest the pujari the pandit that my dear sir i bought this for my girlfriend but she didn't come and now death has come to embrace me so better i offer this red rose lord vishnu himself and then he offered that red rose with all his heart and soul he said oh god please accept this flower from my side i cannot give you anything else apart from this so he didn't offer actually he happened to offer because that was not for lord vishnu it was for the girl but anyways then what happened is he went to the yamaloka as i said in the earlier video in pitraloka which is above the uh bhuloka where we recite currently earth and then he was held accountable for his actions and then chitragupta the database administrator <laughs> of yamaloka who keeps a record of who has done what when where how much chitragupta told my dear sir you have committed so many sinful activities in your life thousand million trillion billion sins you have to account for all of these but you did one good activity what was that that one day when you were about to die you offered a red rose to lord vishnu so because of that now you have two options because of offering that red rose you will be able to go to the heavenly planets for one day and enjoy there 
one day as per of the demigods because one day in swarga is six months of here i mean day means the daytime from sunrise to sunset and the whole day 24 hours is one year 365 day, days that is why the sun goes is around and comes back so then what happened this uh, the chitragupta told this person that you have two choices either you uh, now you have to stay in hell for these many number of years to pay for your sins and you will have a terrible time there because you have committed so many sins and because of this good act you can go to heaven for one day so now it's up to you what you want to choose first you, you want to uh, suffer in hell first for millions of years and then you go to want to go to heaven once or vice versa you want to go to heaven first one day you go you enjoy have a great time there and you come back and suffer in hell <laughs> So then uh, this person thought, anyways, if I have to suffer only, what's the use of going to he heaven later? Let me first go to the heaven and enjoy. Let's see what's going on there. So this fellow went to the Swargaloka. He said, I will first enjoy in heaven for a day and then I will come back here and submit myself to you in the hellish planets. And then Chitragupta told Yamaraj that this is his decision. Please grant him the bail, the visa. <laughs> and then this person went to the heavenly planets. And when he went there, he saw the beautiful Nandan Kanan gardens in Swargaloka. And then these are beautiful heavenly gardens. There are beautiful flowers, beautiful trees, beautiful uh, lakes. It's full of scenery there. It's the heavens actually. Nandan Kanan Gardens, where the demigods enjoy. And then this person, he saw there are some uh, doorkeepers, there were some guards. And the guards let him in because that was his scheduled day of enjoyment for one day. And he came inside and then he saw all these beautiful flowers in the Nandan Kanan gardens. And then he remembered that Chitra Gupta told him that because you had offered one flower to Lord Vishnu, because of that, just that one flower gifted you one day in heaven. So what he did is, he thought, what if I offer all these flowers from the Nandan Kanan gardens to Lord Vishnu? And then he got this idea and then he immediately rushed to a security guard and he said, give me the sword which you have immediately. And he took the sword and he started cutting all the uh, leaves and the branches and all the trees and he made a ruckus there. And then all the flowers which he got, he started offering to Lord Vishnu in his mind. He was imagining that he's in front of Lord Vishnu. Shantakaram bhujagachayanam padmanabham suresham Vishwadharam gagana sadrisham meghavaranam shubhangam Lakshmi kantam kamalanayanam yogi vridhyanagam yam Vande Vishnum bhavabhayaharam sarvalokaikanatham Meghasyamam pita kose avasam shrivatsankam kostubhod bhasitangam Punyo petam pundari kaya taksham vishnum vande sarvaloka kanatham. So he was imagining that he was standing in front of Lord Vishnu himself. Shanta karam bhujaga shayanam. Shanta karam means one who is sleeping in peace. Bhujaga shayanam. His shaya is on the snake. Padmanabham from whose navel Lord Brahma appears. Suresham, he is the lord of all the suras. Vishwadharam, he is the basis of the universe. Gagana Sadrisham, that which per permeates the entire universe. Meghavaranam, one who looks like the cloud. Shubhangam, one whose glance itself is all auspicious. Lakshmi Kantam, one who always thinks of Lakshmi and who Lakshmi is thinking of. Lakshmi Kantam Kamala Nayanam, one whose eyes is like the beautiful lotus petals. 
Yogi Vridhyanagamyam, one who is always meditated upon by the best of the yogis. Vande Vishnum, I offer my obeisances to that Lord Vishnu. Bhava Bhaya Haram, Bhava refers to this material world. Bhaya is fear. Haram is having the meaning of stealing. That is why the other name of Lord Vishnu is Hari. Hari, Hari means uh, one who is a thief. What does a thief do? Thief steals. So Vande Vishnu means I offer my obeisances to that Lord Vishnu who is Bhava Bhaya Haram, one who takes away the fear from this material existence. Sarva Loka Eka Natham, he is the undisputed Lord of every living entity. Sarva Loka, all the universes. Eka Natham, one. Natha is Lord himself. So he was meditating on this prayer. And then what happened? In his meditation, he offered all the flowers to Lord Vishnu. And then the whole day in heaven, that means one full year, he was just doing that. He was going on chopping the flowers from the Nandan Kanan gardens and he was going on offering flowers. And then uh, the emissaries of Yamraj from the Yamaloka, the Yamadutas came and said, My dear sir, excuse me, your time is up. <laughs> You can't stay here anymore because you had only one day of enjoyment in the heavenly planets and now that is over. And then they took him to Yamaloka again. And then Yamalat said, okay, my dear Chitragupta, he is back. So now tell me where, where I have to send him. Check the database, enter his registration number and then we will see where to send him. And then Chitragupta said, my God, <laughs> his database is blank. Yamad said, what the hell, man? You just said he did so many sinful activities and he had to go to heaven for one day and then he will suffer in hell for the rest of eternity. No, eternity means not eternity, but for very long time because of his papa, sinful actions. And then Chitragup said, yes, that was there, but now... When I enter the register number, it's showing blank. All the data has been erased. Because this person has offered so many flowers to Lord Vishnu that all his sinful karma is now nullified. He is now sinless. And now he will not go to the heavens. Neither will he stay here in Yamaloka or in the hellish planets nor will he go to the earth and take birth again. He will go back to Vaikunt, where Lord uh, Krishna says in the Gita, Yadagatvana nivaratante tadhama paramam mama Yadagatvana nivaratante tadhama paramam mama One who goes back to my abode does not reach here back. He does not come back, he does not fall down again. Then what happened? Immediately, up to the amazement of everybody, who, are, who in the Yamaloka, there was a beautiful divine airplane which descended. And it was from the spiritual world of Vaikuntha itself. And there were two divine personalities. They also had four hands like Lord Vishnu because the Srimad Bhagavatam says there is no difference between uh, the Vishnu Dutas and Lord Vishnu in the way they look. The only difference is Lord Vishnu has the Sri Vatsa, that mark of uh, mark in his chest which represents Lord Vishnu and he has the Kostava money, that jewel Kostava. So apart from that, all the other Vishnu Dutas, they look the same. They also have four hands and curly locks of hair. They look exactly like Lord Narayana. <laughs> so then what happened is this beautiful spiritual aeroplane, maybe it was, its name is Garuda Airlines. <laughs> so the Garuda Airlines descended from the Vaikuntha planets and from there came down two divine personalities. The name was Nanda and Sunanda. They are the personal associates of Lord Vishnu. And they came down and said to this person, My dear sir, 
your time in this material world is over now you will not take another birth because you have offered so many flowers to lord vishnu with all your heart and soul lord vishnu has instructed that go and clean and check out all his accounts of karma good bad nullify, nullify it completely thrash it delete the folder and bring him back here and as lord krishna says yad gatvan anivartante tad dhama param mama one who reaches my abode does not return back so now you will not go to the heavens the vaikuntha planets are waiting for you please come with us and then this person was so jubilant i will not take another birth again no going to the heavens no coming to hell no coming to earth no abcd no masters no bachelors no phd no puberty no heart breaks no marriages no death anymore no birth anymore no disease anymore nothing doing that's it that is all and he boarded the vaikuntha airplane garuda airlines <laughs> he boarded the garuda airlines and he marched towards the spiritual world and when he started moving higher and higher in the dimensions of this material world all the demigods they were chanting uh, they they were chanting hymns and glorifying all the rishis that my dear you are such a great personality just see how god has blessed you you have now attained that supreme glory which everybody aspires as lord brahma says in the brahma samhita venum konanta maravinda dalaya taksham balahavatam samasitam buda sundarangam govindamadi purusham tamaham bajame yasya sada sakale indriya vritti manti this is the beautiful brahma samhita So in Brahma Samhita also Lord Brahma describes about the spiritual realm we will make more videos on that later all right so that is it from my side so what's the lesson of this story that now the lesson is not that do not offer red roses to your girlfriend that is not the lesson <laughs> the lesson is if you offer to your girlfriend or to your wife also make sure you do some offering to Lord Vishnu also because that will greatly benefit you beyond time and space like this person got benefited all right that is it from my side if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and click the thumbs up and if you like this video then share it with others and of course if you want a personal consultation with me then visit my website below vedic renaissance and book a consultation with me until next time with another beautiful story wish you good luck with your spiritual red roses <laughs> Bye bye see you keep offering red green blue every color roses to everybody okay see you good night bye bye